Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will talk about a function of Windows 8 that is available since uh, Windows XP <clears throat> and this um, is a very very useful feature of Windows. Um, in Windows XP, Vista and Windows 7 we have a thing called uh, System Restore and what System Restore does is actually let you go back in time into a previous state of your computer. Um, so if you have a problem today, for example, you can go to a, a date like yesterday or the day before. And basically it will put back your computer to what it was on that date. So where do you get System Restore? And that's the little tricky part in Windows uh, 8. Um, for some reason, they've kind of uh, hidden away a little bit the um, Windows System Restore feature and it's a little unfortunate because um, it's just such a useful feature that I don't know why they uh, added more in the, the core of the system. Uh, maybe because they introduced a new um, a new feature that's uh, kind of a file backup system and maybe they want to use that instead but um, still System Restore is extremely useful. So where do you find it? Just go into the charms bar at the uh, right of your screen, either by sliding from the right to the left if you have a touch screen, or going into the corners if you don't have a touch screen with your uh, mouse uh, to get the charms bar. Go into the search, and there you will click on settings, and start typing system restore, and you'll actually get um, a little thing called um, just here restore there we go and there you will get create a restore point in the list and you'll click on that create a restore point and it's gonna bring you the desktop mode in which you'll have this um, new little system properties window coming up um, there you have system restore right there uh, just below the tabs at the top. Click on System Restore and you'll have the System Restore pop-up of your computer. You can click Next. Now you'll have a list of restore points that have been done. Um, in Windows 8 it seems that restore points are actually done at a much less interval so um, I would uh, say that uh, maybe doing a manual system uh, restore point uh, is not a bad idea. Um, it seems to be especially done only when new software is installed. Um, of course most of the problems occur when new software are installed but sometimes it can happen that just something goes wrong so um, it would have been interesting to have a little more restore points here. So what you do is in that little list there you click on a restore point basically you want to click on a restore point that is not too far back uh, one of the reasons why is because if you do a restore of your system it will actually remove software that is installed from that date until now so suppose for example that you've installed uh, here just take the example of my screen um, it says installed Java 7 update 17 on March 5th. If I was to go into the 27th February that you see here, then I would remove first of all the Windows updates of March 13th. I would remove the Java 7 update 17 and go back into the um, Windows update that I had on March uh, on uh, February 27th. So basically the farther away you go the more software and updates you will lose. One of the nice little features that was added in um, Windows 8 is the fact that there's this little uh, scan for affected programs button here and what's cool about that is that when you choose a restore date you can actually click on what programs and what drivers and what um, you know files will be affected by the restore points. 
So uh, here you get at the bottom, the, at the top is a list of the programs installed. At the bottom is a list of the programs that might be affected by the rollback of the system restore. So that gives you a cool idea of what might be affected if you do a system restore. So once you've chosen the restore point, all you need to do is just click next, say yep, I agree, that's what I want, and you'll be on to restoring your computer into that date. Um, what's cool about when the system restore is the fact that if your computer uh, just installed a new piece of software and your computer starts crashing, uh, you're unable to un uninstall it, well you can use the system restore and go back before you install the piece of software to fix your computer. And it's a pretty good feature because I would say that 60 to 70 percent of the problems will be fixed by doing a system restore. Um, what's cool also about the system restore, if you've played in your settings of Windows and you are you're unable to actually put them back like they were before, you can actually use a restore point and the restore point will put the settings that were on that date. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and one last thing about system restore is if you start playing around with your um, computer and um, you are tinkering, you know, you'll start tinkering with the computer itself, um, then it might be very, very wise when you're in the system properties to go down and create a restore point. So you can click create. And you can call it, for example, uh, everything great March 19 for example here and I just click the create button and this will do a restore point a manual restore point so um, if you see that the restore points are kind of far away apart what you could do is actually create a manual restore point here by doing a manual restore you know that if you change anything in the coming hours or days you can uh, you know just come back to today's date and everything will be set back to how it was at this time at this moment so this is the uh, cool system restore great great feature that's been around since Windows XP still around in Windows 8 a little um, you know kind of pushed back a little and uh, harder to find and um, that's kind of unfortunate but it's a great feature to uh, use if you wanna try and fix problems on your computer. If you enjoy these videos, maybe you got that new Windows 8 computer, hey, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen, you'll be, uh, or at the bottom of the screen, sorry. I believe it's in the bottom now. Uh, and you'll be informed of all the new videos that um, we have. Um, at least 10 new videos every week, so there's gonna be literally hundreds of videos showing you how to do almost everything on Windows 8 on this channel. So uh, keep in touch. And uh, hey, take a look at our other videos if you've got that new Windows 8 machine. Uh, lots and lots of stuff to learn. And uh, maybe if you're uh, looking for help on a subject or a topic of Windows 8, um, you can also ask us for a video. And uh, we'll try to put one online for you. And uh, hey, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.